Hi, welcome to IELTS Ninja. This is Johan and in this video, I want to give you an in-depth evaluation of a speaking test. Now earlier, we have taken a speaking test with one of our students and I am going to be commenting on how well the student has done, what are the mistakes they have made and how those mistakes are going to cut down on their score. I also give you some tips on how you can avoid making these mistakes in your speaking test. But before that, I need to remind you, please subscribe to IELTS Ninja's YouTube channel so you can keep getting more informative videos like these to help ensure that you get your best possible IELTS score in your very first attempt. All right, before I go into this video, I need to talk a little about what the speaking test is. Now, you might already be aware that your speaking test consists of three rounds. The first round is a general question and answer discussion where the invigilator wants to see how well you can have a conversation on pretty much general topics. The second round of the ILTS is referred to as the cue card round or the long term. In this round, you will be given a particular cue card and you need to speak on this cue card for about two minutes. But before you speak, you will get at least one minute to prepare what you are going to say. Obviously, in this round, the skill that we as invigilators are trying to assess is your ability to talk upon a topic at length. Finally, the third round of speaking is where you have a discussion on certain topics. Usually, these topics will be related to your cue card. Out here, the invigilator wants to try and see your ability to express your opinion and back it up with some kind of reasoning and analysis. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to start playing the speaking test that our dear student has attempted. All right. And we will go through this entire thing. Every now and again, I am going to pause this particular video and I'm going to give you some comments on things that Akshay did right and things that he might have not done properly. What you need to make sure in this entire video is to try and focus on not making these errors when you give your test. Hi, uh, welcome to your IELTS test. Let's begin the test by you introducing yourself. Hello, uh, my name is Akshay. I am working with uh, MNC company in Mumbai. Uh, I have a work experience of almost eight years I'm into a customer service department as an operation manager. And yes, I'm happy working as a operation manager for eight years, serving for the customers. Great. Okay. Now, whenever you get into a speaking test, the first is your introduction. Although this is not graded by the ILTS, this is where you can make a really good impression on the invigilator. As I say, impressions do count a lot. Now out here, one of the things that I noticed is that when Akshay was introducing himself, there were way too many pauses and long pauses. These things kind of give out the illusion that you're not very confident. Now, if you're introducing yourself, this is a topic that you need to be a master at. You should not have to hesitate out here. Apart from that, I did notice a couple of hesitations and one minor error where he said MNC company and MNC C already stands for company. There's no need to repeat that. All right. Now we go into the first round, which is the general discussion. Let's see how Akshay fares. Um, what was your first day at work life? My first day at work life was basically to understand the process of the company to see what this company belongs to. So I was first into a visa department and over there it was a face to face customer service. So it was quite a challenging job. And yeah, I continued over there for almost now eight years. Have you taken any volunteer works? Volunteer works as in uh, I have done in the school. So we used to have a RSA. So at the time of the festival Ganpati, we used to go on the Chaupati and uh, we used to guide people where we'll have to go and where we'll have to the Ganesh idols has to be gone. So we used to had, handle the people over there. All right. Why did you do the volunteer works? Oh, volunteer works. Yeah. So I like to do a challenging jobs. So I like it was my passion to help people. So because of that, I went to the customer service to help more and more. 
So yeah, this helps the volunteer work. All right. I'm just pausing the video out here to just give you a bit of commentary and feedback on these three questions that Aksha has answered. Okay, in the first question that was answered, uh, Akshay used the phrase, this company belongs to. Again, grammatical error. Apart from that, in this, throughout this entire thing, did you notice that while speaking, there are many gaps, many pauses in between. Uh, this is detrimental because in the first part of the speaking test, we want to see spontaneity. We want to see how this person can have a conversation. Now, generally, if you're in a conversation with somebody, you're not going to have multiple breaks and pauses. Every time Akshay takes a break and pause, it's almost as if he's trying to think about what he's going to answer. This is something that will cut down upon your score. Now, when you are graded in ILTS, one of the primary things that does get graded is your fluency and your coherence. In your fluency, you should be able to speak confidently with a sustained flow without any uh, frequent breaks. Now, if you look at the band descriptors, uh, these are the descriptors that an invigilator has to use to grade you. In this band descriptor, it says that you should be able to speak with a sustained flow for a continuous period of time without any noticeable or uh, efforts that are put into speaking. So out here, in this very first part out here, I feel that based on what Akshay is saying, he's definitely going to take a hit when it comes to your fluency and coherence as well as the grammatical range. Now in the second question, number of grammatical errors I have done in the schools, all right? Uh, again, very, very incorrect subject verb agreement. I used to go on the chaw party. Now, this is a major error that is going to take down on vocabulary. Now, chaupati is a word that is used in Hindi. What would we uh, call it in English? Maybe we would call it the beachfront or on the beach. All right. Uh, this is something that needs to be absolutely avoided. You cannot use words from your native tongue in the ILTS exam. Because in the ILTS exam, we want to grade you on your use of English. So definitely, this is going to take down on your vocabulary score. Apart from that, uh, we have to go and where we have, where has to immerse. Again, number of subject verb agreement problems, which is going to cut down on grammatical range and accuracy. All right, we had handles the people. Again, wrong use of words, cutting down on your lexical resource or your vocabulary. That is going to take a hit. All right. Finally, in question number three, I did notice Akshay used the phrase more and more, which is not the best phrase to use. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what other questions Akshay gets asked in the general round and see how he answers these questions. Let's talk about your family. Yeah. How many people are there in your immediate family? I have uh, four family members, my mom, my dad, wife and a child. Okay. Who do you get on best within your family? Now, frankly, I get on with my child because he's just uh, two years old. Okay. Do you have a large extended family? Uh, no, not yet. All right. What do you do together with your family? Uh, with the family, when we have a free time, because basically we all work. So in the evening, when we come together at home, so we have a dinner together. We have a free time watching TVs and nowadays now Navratri is there. So we enjoy playing Garba in the society premises. Okay, uh, again out here, apart from the grammatical errors here and there, one of the things that I felt was very lacking was most of these answers were very short and they came out in sporadic burst. Uh, now since he's being asked about his family, there's a lot that could have been added out here. Another problem that I do notice that Akshay is falling into is that he's not paraphrasing. Now in the first round, when you're asked any question, try not to answer that question using the same structure as a question. How many family members do you have? I have four family members. Wouldn't it be better if you answer this question as, I currently live with my parents and my wife and I have a two-year-old son or daughter. All right. Uh, again, which family member do you get along with? 
Akshay answers that uh, quite frankly the family member that I get along with the most is my child. What I would want to add over here to give this answer a bit more of completeness is a reason why. I like it. I get along with my child because I have tons of fun with him. We go for blah blah blah. You could add in something to give a sense of completeness. Again, remember, you want to show spontaneity and the ability to hold a conversation in the first round. All right. The last uh, question that was asked that, you know, what do you do in your free time with your family? Again, uh, Akshay has used uh, Indian festival of Navratri. It's quite possible that your invigilator might not be an Indian, might not really know about this festival. You can use this as a golden opportunity to talk about it. Navratri, a festival that blah, 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 and give just a little bit of details. It doesn't have to be too long, but it will sustain like a natural flow. These are kind of opportunities that I've missed. As I said earlier, these errors that Akshay has made are definitely going to take down on his score when it comes to fluency as well as his lexical resource. Because of the grammatical errors, we can see a number of, you know, errors that are there that are going to drop him below band 5 in grammar. I'll come more to that a bit later, but let's see how he proceeds in the second round. Remember, the second round is the cue card or the long turn. Over here, we want to see how Akshay is going to be able to sustain and talk for a long period on a given topic. So moving on to the second part of the test, yeah. I will be giving you a topic. You have one minute to prepare okay. and you will be given two minutes to speak on it. Surely. All right. So okay. I will give you a paper and a pen so you can just note down your points. Okay. You can talk about who is this person, mm -hmm. how you know him or her, why is he or she often in the news mm -hmm. and explain why you would like to meet her or him. Okay. All right. So I will give you one minute to prepare. Surely. All right. We start now. Now, as Akshay is preparing for this entire thing, this one minute is of crucial importance. When you are giving your speaking test, use this one minute to its fullest to create really good notes so you can answer the cue card in a well-structured and well-laid out manner. Now, to do this, you really need to be using a strategy. So, your one minute, sir. You can begin whenever you're ready. Okay. So, I like to uh, say about our current CM, Mr. Shinde. So, I like to meet because the way he has been come out with the political ways and rules and regulation because pandemic has disturbed everyone. So, last two years we all were at home and there were no festivals, nothing we celebrated. Though we changed the CM last year, Mr. Thakre was there. So this year, Mr. Shinde has definitely come out with a great rule where we have celebrated Ganpati and now we are celebrating Navratri. So I like to meet him, to thank him for the changes he has made. So currently he is into the news for definitely a better good things which he has done. Yeah, I, if I get a chance, I'll definitely meet him to thank him. And if I get a second chance, then I want to really eager to meet Mr. Dhoni, who was our ex-Indian captain. The way he has lifted up the Indian team from scratch to the top, I'll definitely hats off to that person. And if I really get a chance, I'll like to thankful to him. All right, uh, that was Akshay's attempt at the cue card. Right off the bat, one of my very first uh, kind of critiques or my first advice that I would give the student is that this entire thing lacked a structure all right it seemed like random ideas being put together all right without any kind of structure of what is going to be the introduction what am i going to speak about in the body and how am i going to conclude and leave an impact this is something that i felt was very lacking in this uh, entire speaking cue card attempt now when you are going to give a cue card all right one of the very important things is coherence when you talk about coherence, there needs to be a kind of a logical arrangement of this data. Now imagine if I were talking on a cue card and I randomly start talking about things, it's not going to make sense. Even if I use some really good vocabulary, even if I speak with impeccable pronunciation, but this is not logically arranged, it's going to lack clarity. 
right? So this is something that was lacking out here. I do hope that in that one minute that Akshay was planning, I can be very certain that he's not used a strategy to structure all of his thoughts and ideas. Uh, when it comes to the grammatical range, again, like earlier, we did see a lot of grammatical mistakes, a lot of poor use of vocabulary as well. Um, uh, I would like to say about our CM. Now out here, I would want to rephrase this as, I would want to talk about our current chief minister. Uh, also, Akshay does tend to have a tendency to use the word like a bit too much, which is just another filler that I would want to avoid. Uh, apart from that, he goes from talking about the CM to rules and regulations introduced in the pandemic. It has disturbed everyone. This is one of the phrases that I picked up on that the pandemic has disturbed everyone. Not exactly the vocabulary that we want to use. We can say that the pandemic has disrupted our lives, all right? has disrupted our daily routine, something like that. Uh, disturbed everyone, not really fit, uh, fitting in out there. Uh, again, no festivals, nothing we celebrated. Poor grammar, apart from that, again, going to break down on structure. When we talk about grammatical range, again, I noticed that most of the sentences that Akshay speaks are simple sentences. When he does attempt to try and make a complex sentence, there are a lot of errors. This is again going to bring down the score in grammar. Okay. Uh, the one thing, all right, that I found very alarming or something that jumped out as me as an error was he starts talking about the chief minister and then second goes to if I get a second chance I would want to meet Dhoni ex-Indian captain. Now I think he's obviously referring to MS Dhoni, Mahindra Singh Dhoni, the Indian captain. Out here you're supposed to speak about one particular person. I think it would be better if Akshay chose one person and then talks about this person rather than trying to put two people in between. Now, while speaking with, uh, while speaking about MS Dhoni, Akshay did do something that was quite interesting. He did use a couple of idioms, or rather, I should be saying, he attempted to use a couple of idioms. Now, when you look at your band descriptors under lexical resource, or you want to see your vocabulary, uh, it is said that you should be able to use a kind of idiomatic language, all right? But it needs to be. Now, this is the condition out here. It needs to be used naturally and accurately. Unfortunately, I do not think it was very well done. All right. Uh, from the scratch to the top. Not well constructed. If you want to say something like that, uh, I do appreciate Dhoni's efforts from building the team from scratch. You don't need to say it to the top. Uh, secondly, hats off to that person. Brilliant. Good use of idiomatic uh, vocabulary. But not well placed within the sentence. All in all, when I look at this cue card, it lacks structure, number of grammatical errors. There's a lot of pauses, a lot of fillers being used. Uh, so not really doing too many favors for Akshay out here. Let's go to round three. Again, round three is the discussion round. In the discussion round, we want to see how you express your opinion on certain things and how you give reasoning and analysis. Let's see how Akshay fares. Anything else you'd like to add? No, nothing else. This much. All right. So moving on to the third part of this test, mm -hmm. uh, we've been talking about media. Okay. So I'd like to ask you a little more on it. Okay. So what is the difference between new media and old media? Okay. So the old media, the old media was a medium. Okay. I can say where the people used to watch TV so that they can get a knowledge or they can get a news of the current situation going in the cities or a state or a every part of the world. But now I can see that news in the current time is just a fame where people are there are spreading all uh, news for their fame, wrong news, negative news. There is no such kind of positive news which is coming. Uh, people are being targeted with the medium of this news, I can say in the current time. Okay. Do you think the contents in the newspapers are reliable? Some of them I can say are reliable and some of them are not. Okay. So if you go for the news which contain with the 
media like movies or uh, bollywood something like that it's are not reliable okay it's for entertainment definitely but if you go for the news where a business a person related like ambani what he's doing a tata what he's has done and achieved yeah we can rely on that do you think it's necessary for people to watch foreign news yes it is necessary to watch the foreign news because you get an idea what is going in the other part of the countries you should be always well updated with the time okay how has social media changed how we consume news social media is now become a platform okay for the people to earn okay so with this i can say is a lots of people are quitting their job and coming into the social media because now facebook instagram youtube they are well promoting people's the content creators new generation content creators where they can entertain the media large number of media all over the world all right what kinds of people are usually in the news of your country in my country the news are the people are what i can say are political people most of them 24 hours they are into the news so some of them are fighting internally some are fighting with each others so yeah political people are more into the news all right so we've come to the end of your test okay thank you thank you so much right with that akshay concludes his entire test all right uh, round 3 Round three is slightly challenging because out here you need to speak and give your opinion, and you need to back that up with reasons. Many of the questions Akshay has attempted to give reasons out here, but with limited success. Now, first of all, I feel that the first three questions that were there, uh, Akshay has not really understood the crux of the question. Right. With that, Akshay concludes his entire test. All right. Uh, round three. Round three is slightly challenging because out here you need to speak and give your opinion, and you need to back that up with reasons. Many of the questions Akshay has attempted to give reasons out here, but with limited success. Now, first of all, I feel that the first three questions that were there, uh, Akshay has not really understood the crux of the question, which means that he was answering the questions but tended to go on. a complete tangent and not really answering it this is going to take down his score all right uh, especially when it comes to coherence because it's kind of vague murky answers again when it comes to grammatical mistakes there were quite a few grammatical mistakes a couple of fillers that i did detect over there but glaringly what i missed out in this entire thing was akshay being able to back up his claims now one of his answers that he did start talking about which was uh, do you watch foreign news it felt like a very incomplete answer very abruptly just being stopped without completing that entire thought this is definitely going to cut down on his overall score now if i look at this entire thing when he was talking about uh, you know like content creators and who are the people in the news he kept referring and repeating the phrase political people uh, this political people is not uh, people cannot be like kind of uh, described as political people uh, you would rather want to say politicians again because of this we can see that there is a definite deficiency when it comes to vocabulary in order to express his thoughts and ideas which is going to bring down his score now if i were to grade akshay all right on the four parameters on which you get your band score which is fluency and coherence your lexical resource grammatical range and accuracy and finally your pronunciation pronunciation is something that i've purposely not spoken about that i'm coming to in the end all right um i'll start with fluency and coherence when it comes to fluency and coherence i'm referring to the band scores out here i would say that at best all right Akshay would score a three point five. If he's lucky, he might score a four. And the reason that I am saying that is because he speaks with a lot of pauses. There are a lot of pauses while he's speaking. Uh, his ability to construct simple sentences is all right, but whenever he tries to make a complex sentence, there are a lot of errors. Apart from that, uh, when we look at it, there are so many errors and fillers. 
and incorrect use of connectives that it is impossible that he would be able to score over a four when it comes to fluency and coherence. All right, out here, my judgment would be a 3.5 at best. When we look at lexical range, I'm going to have to give Akshay again a score of four. The reason that I have to give him a score of four out here is because uh, he's able to talk about familiar topics, but his vocabulary is very limited. At times, he struggles to find words. He has ended up using uh, his native tongue to describe certain things and not been able to paraphrase. Many a time, we did notice that when he answered a question, the same question structure was repeated in the answer itself when it could have been modified. So again, for lexical resource, I will definitely give Akshay a 4, nothing higher than that. If I look at grammatical range, again, we saw so many errors when it came to subject verb agreement. Uh, even certain structures of certain sentences were very faulty. Uh, inability to uh, speak a sentence that is complex or compound without errors. Because of this in grammatical range, again, it would be very, very hard for Akshay to go beyond the four. If I read the band descriptor, it says, produces simple forms of sentences, all right, with some uh, correct simple sentences. But errors are frequent and may lead to misunderstanding, which was very evident in the cue card as well as in the third round. Many of the errors that were created, created a lot of confusion when you're trying to understand what he was trying to say. So again, for grammatical range, I would say four. Now, I saved pronunciation for last because pronunciation is the one of the band descriptors that has the most amount of misinformation online. A lot of students assume that they need to speak with a certain European or a North American accent in order to score a high score in pronunciation. Absolutely untrue. When we talk about pronunciation, we are talking about clarity. We are also looking into how fast this person is speaking. With Akshay's case, it was not a problem of speaking fast. It was not a problem about any pronunciation. I did not catch any glaring pronunciation errors. However, because of the lack of vocabulary, all right, it is really hard to say that he has a very good range in pronunciation. It was very, very limited. There wasn't any words that were there that actually can exhibit his ability to pronounce complex words. So out here, I definitely do not think that Akshay deserves a score of four because there were no errors in pronunciation. At the same time, I do not feel that he would be able to get a six in pronunciation because he was not able to show like a sustained or a large range in pronunciations, which leads me to give him a score of five in pronunciation. So if you have a score of 3.5, four in lexical resource, four in grammatical range, and five in pronunciation, your total band score is going to come to four. All right. So if Akshay gets a band score of four, what is going to be my advice to Akshay? Well, number one, for the first uh, round of speaking, spontaneity needs to be worked upon. While spontaneity is being worked upon, what I'll also encourage Akshay to do is not answer the questions with the same pattern of the question to use paraphrasing there. With the cue card, I know for certain that Akshay has not used a strategy. All right. He has put down a couple of points. He's not made optimum use of that one minute of preparation. This is one place where he needs to practice on coming up with mind mapping, using a strategy at IELTS Ninja, we have an RER strategy that is relate, elaborate and reflect, which he has not done. Had he done that, I'm quite certain the cue card would be better structured and would be more impactful. Uh, also, I would definitely want to work with Akshay on improving his vocabulary. The more words he uses and he knows how to use his precise words, not having to rely upon using any words from his native tongue would definitely be an asset. When it comes to pronunciation, one of the things that I would work with Akshay is to have a sustained flow of speech without any of those pauses. And I'm quite certain then if he uses some more vocabulary, automatically his pronunciation score should jump up by a notch or two. Well, this was my feedback on this particular speaking test. I do hope that you have got an idea of how an ILTS speaking is graded. 
Moreover, I hope that this video helps you not make these errors when you give the speaking test. Now, for more such videos, I'm going to remind you again, hit the like and subscribe button, all right, so you can get more tips from IELTS Ninja. Thank you so much for watching.